Hi guys, so I'm just going to go over this tracing question from the week 5 workshop because being able to trace conditions is a really important skill to have um, and I have a few tips that have helped me in the past with tracing code um, and hopefully you might find them helpful as well. So what I've got is I have my variables in the corner here so that I can keep track of them. Um, so for A is 5, B is 3, C is 10, and result is 11. I've just written R just to make that a bit easier. Um, and a question like this goes to show you how important it is to correctly format and indent your code because without any of that indentation, if I was to remove all of that, that becomes a lot harder to read and it becomes a lot harder to determine where a conditional starts and ends. Um, so you want to have your code indented because it makes it a lot easier being able to see, okay, I have this bracket here, which um, has belongs to this conditional here. Where does it end? It ends where this bracket is aligned to. So this bracket here belongs to this one. This bracket here belongs to this one and so on. So that becomes a lot easier. And the way I tackle these questions is as I'm tracing, if I see an if and an else, and I know I'm going to go into the if and I'm not going to go into the else, um, then I just scribble out the else or I comment it out or I delete it just so I can just completely ignore it. Because a question like this looks quite daunting. You have a little a look at it and there's a lot of code there. Um, so we just want to make it as easy as we can for ourselves. So uh, let's start with our tracing. So our first condition says if A is less than C. Well, we've got A is 5 and C is 10. So 5 is less than 10. That's true. So that means that we are going to go into this if condition, which also means we're not going to go into this else condition. So we can completely disregard this and I'm just going to delete it. See already that's a lot easier. Um, so we've entered this if, we're going to go into this one here. So if A is less than B, 5 is less than 3, well that's false, which means we aren't going to go into this if condition, we're going to be going into the else. So I'm just going to remove that one there. Okay, so we're going into this if here, we hit this, and it says if a modulo b is equal to 0, 5 modulo 3 is not 0, so we know we're not going to go into this if, we're going to be going into this else, else result is equal to result minus 1. So we're going to take a variable here, we're going to minus 1. So now we exit this else. And we get here, result is equal to result times 3. So I'm going to update that to 30. We exit this else. We exit this if. We've gone down. So if result modulo 5 is 0. So our result is 30. 30 modulo 5 uh, is 0. So this condition is true. And what we're doing is result is equal to result plus one. Okay, so you should get 31 in the end.